Please like, subscribe, and share this video tutorial to your personal friends, family, and Facebook friends, so that we can help others to learn the valuables we shared. This video was made exclusively for instructional and educational purposes only. The aim of this film is to help you to learn the appropriate knowledge that being discussed in this content. All information that being shared here is based on my personal research and experience. All credit and rights belong to their respective owners. No copyright violations are intended. All important links are shared in the description. This video content is made by Agui TV YouTube channel. First thing you need to do is to crop the data page of your passport image, because if you don't do this, the validation personnel will disqualify your EPS topic online registration. I used Microsoft Office Picture Manager to crop this photo. The application that we are going to use here is Adobe Photoshop CS6, as per my experience if you use this application, your photo ID and scan passport will get high success rate to be accepted by the system. Now in your desktop click the start button and search for Adobe Photoshop. Once Adobe Photoshop shows, navigate your cursor to the apps and click to open. Once the Photoshop is opened, next is we need to upload the desired photo you are going to edit to the Photoshop windows, now go and click the file menu, you will find it at the top left corner of your screen. The drop down menu will pop up here, then click open, and start searching the photo that you are going to edit. In my case it is save in the desktop folder name EPS photo. Then double click to open the EPS photo folder. Now double click to the photo that you are going to edit. In this tutorial we are going to edit this scan passport to have 1 MB file size. On your keyboard, click Ctrl Alt and I together, to show the details of this photo. Then the image properties will shows, and some of the details here are required to change, to be able to achieve the size requirement of the EPS online registration. First we have to make sure that the scale styles, constrained proportion and resample image are ticked or enable. And the second is we have to change the height to 1000 pixels per inch, or higher to achieve the 1 MB size target. After changing the dimensions of your photo, now click the OK button to update the changes to your image. After clicking OK button you should see that your image is in good condition and clear copy. Then if the image quality is good, it's time to save it as JPEG format. Then go to File menu and look for Save for Web and click to proceed. Then you will navigate to Save for Web window, here you will see the current size of your photo, the format of your photo, the dimensions, and the quality of your image. Here you will notice that the current size of this image is 1.011 MB, but our target size is 1 MB, then we have to adjust the quality of this photo to achieve the 1 MB requirements. Because the current size of this photo is bigger than the required size, we have to reduce the quality of this image to decrease the size. Now click the quality option number or button and do trial and error to reach the desired size which is 1 MB. Or we can increase or decrease this number to change quality of the image to reach 1 MB, because when we change the quality, the file size change as well. Now that you reach the specific file size you need, it's time to save your scanned passport, click the save button now. Now that you know how to edit your scanned passport to 1 MB, it is highly recommended that you make at least 5 copy of your scanned passport with different file size, so that you have another option if the scanned passport you created don't accept it by the system at the time of the online registration. And it is better to rename your scanned passport copy according to its file size, to make it easy for you which one you will use during the online registration. To make it easy for you, I made a step-by-step -step video tutorial on how to edit or resize the scan copy of your passport and passport size photo that will accept by the EPS online registration system using laptop and mobile phone application. I made a step-by-step -step video tutorial as well on how to pay your EPS topic test registration online. Make sure to watch this video tutorial so that you will have an idea on how you will become successful in online EPS registration process. Please like, subscribe, and share this video tutorial to your personal friends, family, 
and Facebook friends, so that we can give them a chance to work in South Korea with minimum salary of 80,000 pesos per month. You heard it right, 80,000 pesos.